Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be explaining energy of time scaled signal. So, how to calculate energy of time scaled signal? That is what the basic agenda which is there with this session. So, here question is a signal x of t has energy e, then calculate energy of x of 3t. So, here I have scaled time by multiplying time with t. So, our agenda is to calculate what is the energy in terms of E with signal X of 3T. So, see basically if I say you have signal X of T with energy E, then energy of that X of T that we can calculate as per minus infinite to infinite X of T whole square dt. And if you scale, if you scale signal x of t by a t with energy let us say e dash then that e dash that we can calculate as per minus infinite to infinite mode of x of a t whole square d t. Now to have this calculation in form of e I will have to consider a t is equals to one variable so if I consider a t is equals to s then a d t is equals to d s. So we can say d t is equals to d s by a and limits will not change. So limits that, that will be from minus infinite to infinite only. So if you place that in this basic formula, you can say e dash is equals to minus infinite to infinite x of s whole square ds divided by a. So we can say this is integration from minus infinite to infinite magnitude of s of s whole square ds divided by a. Now you can see this is what energy of x of t this is what energy of x of t so i can say this is what e and divided by a so basically if you scale signal with a then new energy will be e by a if you scale signal by time scale a then new energy that will be e by a so here for x of 3t energy that we can say if I say e dash then it has to be e divided by 3. So this is what the energy which we have it for x of 3t. So this is very important shortcut that one should know for energy of time scaled signal. Directly one can say like if you have time PDR time scaling by t by 2 in that case you should multiply that 2 with energy to have final energy of resultant signal but if you multiply time with scaling factor a in that case it will be e by a so likewise one can calculate energy of any time scaled signal i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video you can give your valuable suggestions definitely your suggestions will be appreciated and based on that I'll make videos in future to sort out all those queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.